Hey guys. Sorry, I got chocolate in my mouth. <laughs> this is that snazzy iPhone guy here with you today. And uh, this one's going to be a quick one. That's why I don't have my tripod. But I'm getting the messages and comments from a lot of you. Why are apps crashing when I download them? Now, it really honestly just depends. There's some apps that just don't go for you. However, there are some things you can do that will make it so your apps install relatively smoothly. Number one, download the app over Wi-Fi. Unless it's a teeny sized app like a, I don't know, like a fart machine or something. If it's under three megabytes, you can download it over 3G and Edge. But if it's over, I highly, I strongly don't recommend it. Use Wi-Fi. Um, and if you don't have Wi-Fi, sync to the computer. I know it's a pain in the butt, but it's so much better to have an app that runs than to have an app that just crashes. So uh, do it over 3G, all right? Um, if, you, if it's over 3 megabytes, do it over Wi-Fi. Uh, Wi-Fi is pretty dang good. One thing about Wi-Fi is make sure you have a really strong signal. If I, I, Personally, I think the best way to get an app, the best glitch-free way, is to do it uh, through Wi-Fi, through your phone, with a really strong signal. If you have a weak signal, some packets aren't going to make it there, and it'll probably get you. After you downloaded your app, absolutely 100% sure, make sure you restart or reboot your iPhone. Okay, so turn it off and then turn it back on. This is the main reason people have problems. I don't know why, but you have to reboot, kind of like a computer when you install new software on it. It runs so much smoother if you just reboot. So uh, that's easy. That's not hard at all. Remember to do that one. Uh, third of all, if you're playing a game or something and you're having glitches, reboot. All right. Uh, usually the glitches are resolved and that's usually because you're doing something else at the same time like retrieving email and doing all the stuff that also requires uh, processing power and your iPhone or iPod Touch just can't handle it. So uh, give it a break, let it restart and uh, that's that. Uh, one last thing, if you're still having problems with an application, uninstall it. Remove it from your iPhone, go back to the App Store, re-download it. Okay? Uh, Sometimes you don't get a good download. Sometimes it's incomplete. And you know what? You just have to restall it, reinstall it again. So I hope these tips helped you guys. They've helped me, and I don't know what will work for you, but these are what have worked for me. If you use Wi Fi with a strong signal, you reboot after you download, and if it's a bad app, delete and then re download. So thank you guys for watching. This is that snazzy iPhone guy. Just a quick tip, and uh, stay snazzy.